What's up, everybody? You like James Bond, I like James Bond, but there are things that you need to know about James Bond before you see the latest movie, and I'm here to tell you all of them with the ultimate Bond recap, Daniel Craig edition. It's like the fourth or fifth James Bond, Daniel Craig. And he starts off in Casino Royale and he is different, very different, because he just became 007 and he became 007 by killing M. So now he meets this guy, guy with the, you know, it's a villain. He's got a, got a thing and he bleed. He, I think he cries blood. I don't know. So that guy, Hannibal, uh, from the TV show Hannibal, based on my favorite uh, Silence of the Lambs, which has a great parody called Silence of the Hams with Dom DeLuise. Don't miss it. Uh, anyway, okay, I'm getting confused. So, Casino Royale, the newest James Bond movie. What do you need to remember? That guy. Okay, so, James Bond meets a dude from Westworld, and the Westworld guy's like, okay, Bond, there's a guy at the table. You gotta, like, figure out what's going on with him, because I think he's a bad guy. I'm gonna teach you how to play cards. And James Bond's like, I know how to play cards. He's like, great, you're in. So, all of a sudden, James Bond plays cards with the guy who cries blood. And uh, and then the guy's like, uh-uh, you're cheating, man. And then he puts him in a chair, and he starts, like, doing stuff to him, like... um ass play stuff I think or some he's like using a whip on him it's weird it's like an s &M scene and you're like well this is a new James Bond old James Bond never did that I think Roger Moore did some butt stuff in uh, The Spy Who Loved Me with the guy with the metal teeth but I'm not I'm not positive about that so the end of the movie he kills a guy well he doesn't kill him he shoots him in the kneecap and he puts him in the trunk he's like see I told you Aston Martins have trunk space or something like that maybe that was my line I thought that would be a good James Bond line anyway so Casino Royale's over. He beats the cards. Then it's this time of year, white for Labor Day. It, it must be summer. Uh, so Bond then meets the new M, not the one they killed in Casino Royale. And she's like, Bond, you are always messing up. You know, first you, you, you got your balls hit and then you did all that ass play stuff. And now you are like on a, a revenge mission. We don't do that. It's weird because... The second James Bond movie is kind of like not a James Bond movie, even though the first one, because like more of like a, it's like a continuation of it. And like it was from, it like feels like a car commercial. Like the first couple of minutes feel like a car commercial. But then he meets a guy from Westworld again. He's like, look, I got to get to this hotel. I hear it's cool. I need a break because my girlfriend drowned in the elevator. Uh, and he's like, well, come on out. You'll check it out. It'll be cool. Uh, and then he goes to the hotel room. There's this guy in his hotel. He's like, what are you doing here? And then this guy's like, I've come to kill you, Bond, because if you're, you know, I'm a bad guy. You're a good guy. And, you know, you can tell he's a bad guy because of the leather jacket. And Bond does it. He kills him. And then M's like, okay, you're back now. You took your vacation at Westworld. Now you're back. Let's work together. And he's like, gotcha. New movie, Skyfall, uh, which is cool because, check this out, he actually does fall from the sky very early in the movie when uh, the new Money Penny, who was also like a James Bond, she shoots, watch it, this is crazy. Oh my God, she's like, I'm gonna take the shot. And he's like, take the shot, take the shot. Bam, shoots him, Skyfall. Uh, so that's where the title comes from. Then Adele's like, I was divorced from my husband. Now James Bond is dead and everything is really weird. And then uh, this guy comes in, Ralph, Ralph uh, Fine, because he's fine, uh, basically is like, M, you got to get out because, you know, whatever. We got to switch it up. James Bond is retired, and he has got a pet scorpion now. Everyone's like, cool. He's doing like a Raiders of the Lost Ark thing, like Karen Allen. And he goes back to got to check him out again. And he's like, doesn't check out um, because, uh, oh, new Q. I like the old Q better. I like this new Q, but I like old Q because uh, like, there's no reason for old Q to be, well, he should be retired. But it also was like a statement on like how, uh, oh, the guy from um, uh, Tomorrow, no, no, uh, No Country for Old Men, he's in it. Now, he's mad. You thought he was bad with the, the cow shooter, but no, this one, he's really bad. Um, he's mad at M because M, he's like, I don't need to know your name. And M's like, I'm not going to tell you my full name. And he's like, you got to tell me. So he holds this whole thing hostage. There's a lot of underground bunkers. And then Bond goes to Skyfall, ironically enough. That's the name is House. Oh, where'd you go up? Skyfall. And then he actually Skyfalled in the beginning. And then the song is called Skyfall. Too much Skyfall. Uh, nose, you know, hitting the nose on the head. Uh, M dies. What can you do? Uh, and then Bond's like, all right. I've gone through a lot of shit. Let's get back to business. And then they're in the cool old office, like the Roger Moore office. And then, oh, and then Money Penny is like, hey, did you check out this like TikTok that M sent you? And he's like, I didn't. And then, Boom, we're in Spectre. Spectre, the movie is complicated. 
Uh, I'm going to say it's complicated because he finds out that it, Spectre is like what happened when J.J. Abrams tried to like retcon what Ryan Johnson did. And then it was kind of like a mess uh, because it, now it's like, oh, everything that's ha- like we find out that everything that's already happened is like is because it was planned. It doesn't seem like that was that. I got to say, as a true James Bond fan, that seems odd. Anyway, he finds out that the octopus gang is out and about. And he's like, I got to find out. He goes back to the guy from number one. That guy, remember that guy? I thought he was dead, um, but he wasn't. And then that's a surprise. But he dies pretty quickly anyway. And then this girl's in here, and he's like, I like you. And she's like, I like you. And they're like, let's go and like recreate some famous scenes from James Bond. Oh, uh, and they go to like On Her Majesty's Secret Service. They make a cool uh, PowerPoint. I don't know how they do that so effectively because it doesn't seem like anyone's holding a pointer. Um, and I think they should have called in Q to do the pointer thing. And then the guy, the, you know, the bad James Bond Moriarty, he's there. Uh, and he's like, I'm going to one day turn evil and be the nemesis to, to Sherlock. Um, Dave Batista comes in, cool fight on a train. And then, uh, there he is, you know, Hans Gruber. No, not Hans Gruber. Hans Landa from Inglorious Bastards is like, okay, here's the deal, Bond. My plan is simple, uh, to fuck up your life. And Bond's like, well, how are you going to do it? And he's like, I've already been doing it. And he's like, what do you mean? He's like, oh, you know everything that's happened to you in the last couple of movies? That was me. And Bond's like, really? That seems really implausible because they were so varied and so far away from each other. But why wouldn't you just like show your face earlier? Because I wouldn't have known either way. And he's like, well, good point. Anyway, the cool thing about Bond is this, this girl, uh, everyone's dying on him. I mean, everyone's just constantly just like, Croaking, croaking, croaking. Uh, and then, so Hans Landa is James Brown's brother. He's like, surprise, surprise. I didn't know I had a brother. Yeah, you had a brother. I grew up in Skyfall too. No, that guy did Skyfall. Uh, anyway, they do like a haunted mansion thing where they go inside. And then here it is. Bond gets his brother. And his brother like, kill me, kill me, kill me. He's like, I'm not going to kill you. I'm going to get the fuck out. And so Bond gets in a sweet ass car and gets out. And that's where we leave before uh, No Time to Die. Uh, which I think we all can say we have no time to die, but it will come for us. And maybe he will die. But what do you need to know? Uh, will the Westworld guy be back? Did that girl drown? I think she did. Did all the girls fake their death? Is everyone, because James Bond faked his death too. He's out there with his pet scorpion. We don't know where the pet scorpion is. Is the pet scorpion coming back? Uh, did M fake her death? Is Ralph going to do something in this one? But I think what you have to know is that all these characters are in play at all times. And especially, uh, I'm sure there's going to be a scene where they put uh, Hans Landa in like a, a Magneto prison because it's the movies. You got to put the bad guy in a clear glass prison. That's what we do. So that's what you have to look forward to. 007 time is back, and it's the last time with this one, but the, but he'll be back. And when he's back, he's different. And maybe he will be a she, or maybe it'll be animated. I don't know. I'm not in the loop. But I will tell you this much. When he's back, he'll be back with a license to thrill. Movie Maven, out.